Officers are out in force around the Southland this holiday weekend, trying to keep dangerous drivers in check. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 530. I'm Pedro Rivera. And I'm Mary Beth McDade in this Thanksgiving for Sheriff Calvin. From distracted and drunk drivers to speeders and street takeovers, law enforcement officers are doing their best this holiday to curb dangerous driving. KTLA 5's Jennifer McGraw is live in Sun Valley with more on the heightened holiday enforcement. Jennifer. Pedro and MB, that's what police are asking, that the public does their best to keep these roadways safe tonight. While everyone's enjoying those festivities, they don't want to, people to take it too far. That could lead to a deadly situation. The five-day weekend of giving thanks, sadly, is also a deadly one. With nearly 4 million Southern Californians hitting the road, there's an increase in car crashes and a warning to drivers. If you are going to drink, it's, it's better to just be at home and not have to, you know, go from one place to another because you never know what can happen today. Today is about being with family and not about having to be in danger or losing a family member. That's not what we want. Agencies across SoCal will be on alert for drunk drivers and other reckless behavior. Specifically, the California Highway Patrol is starting its maximum enforcement from 6 o'clock last night, and it will last until midnight on Sunday. Last year, 42 people were killed in crashes during the 2021 Thanksgiving weekend, including 16 pedestrians. Another concern, street takeovers that can hit your neighborhood like this one last night. On Rio Vista and 2nd Street in Anaheim, officers arrived to find this Mustang doing donuts at this intersection. About a mile and a half away, police finally caught up to the suspect and took him into custody. Unfortunately, as other drivers were trying to flee, a police officer spotted one of the cars that was speeding off, hit a man standing in the street. The man lives in the area and suffered pretty serious injuries, possibly a broken leg. Residents in this neighborhood say they're angry this keeps happening. They need to get a life and stop doing this stuff. You know, it's people are getting hurt. It's not funny. It's not a game. They're automobiles. People and automobiles don't mix together when they're out of control. And unfortunately, it's becoming a trend. The street takeovers have taken over in so many cities. The LAPD has launched a new campaign to combat reckless behavior. It's called Project Safe Street. This is something the LAPD is going to be spending extra time enforcing and spreading awareness on the dangers. You know, I think there's just kids that want to show off for their friends and tonight and any other night is certainly not the night for sure. Uh, tonight should be a night of Thanksgiving and being with your family and being safe and uh, enjoying the holidays. And the last time there was a street takeover here in Sun Valley, police impounded vehicles and also made citations and also arrests. And they say tonight will be no different. So make it a, th a happy Thanksgiving and stay on the roadways and stay in line. That's the very latest here in Sun Valley. I'll send it back to you in Hollywood. All right. Thanks, Jen. Some good advice there.